Alright, what's up internet? So today's just gonna be a quick video on how to ship your Lazada orders step by step. Gumawa na kami ng video kagaya nito dati, pero ngayon, ito yung pinaka-updated. But if you wanna check out the old video, you still can, it's still relevant. It's longer, has more detail. So of course, first you have to log in to your Lazada seller portal. Go to orders. You select the orders that you want to ship out. And then select print shipping label. And here's a pro tip. You can set the pages per sheet to two. So you're printing two shipping labels per page. So you can save yourself some money on the paper that you're using. I set it to custom margin so that I'm sure that the whole shipping label is printed and nothing is cut off, especially, most importantly, the barcode. You can go back and set ready to ship. For shipping, there are two items, those that fit in pouches and those that are bulky or meaning they don't fit in the pouches. For items that fit in the pouches, just prepare the shipping label first. Put the shipping label into the pouch, tape it up. You don't need to, but we like to just as added security that it doesn't fall out or anything like that. Pack the item, put the receipt inside the pouch along with the item, and seal the item. Now you can drop that off at the drop-off point. Or if you're automatically enrolled in Lazada's pickup service, then you just need to wait for them to pick it up. Now, there are bulky items which do not fit into pouches and for this, you can use your own packaging. What we do is we just wrap it up in bubble wrap. Always at least two layers of bubble wrap. So, same procedure as before. Make sure you have your shipping label ready and your receipt ready. Wrap up the item. It doesn't matter if you know, you're not so good at wrapping. Believe me, I'm also not good at wrapping. And customers really don't mind. Usually, the more bubble wrap you use, the more they like it. Make sure to slip in the receipt, either on top of the item or after the first layer of bubble wrap. Once the item is wrapped, then put the shipping label on top. And then you can just directly put masking tape all over the shipping label that will protect it during transit. Or what I like to do is I recycle some plastic. There's always some clear plastic lying around from old deliveries or things like that. So I cut out a square, put that square of plastic on top of the shipping label, and then I put masking tape all over. So a bulky item cannot be dropped off. Do not go to a drop-off point. They will not accept that. Drop-off points only accept items that fit in pouches. So for a bulky item, if you're enrolled with Lazada's pickup service, great. You just need to wait for the pickup. Or if you're not, you need to contact Lazada directly and request for pickup. So that's it. Very short video. Hope it helped and happy selling, guys.